Use cases are very popular technique to describe features of a solution. Key concepts behind use case are actors users who use the system and use cases functions the system provides. Let's understand use case with a very simple use case, the log in use case for a product. Each use case has a goal. The goal is what the use case tries to achieve. For example, here the goal is to provide access to the application for the authenticated users. Use case has a precondition, which indicates conditions to be satisfied prior to the use case. For example, the user needs to have a legitimate login profile and password for using this use case. Success end condition indicates the end state, if the use case is successful. Here success end condition is to get access to the home page. Failed end condition indicates the state if the use case fails, say to redirect the person, to forgot password page or lock the account. Primary actor indicates to an actor, who initiates the use case. Secondary actor participates in the use case once the primary actor initiates the use case. For example, the password may be reset by administrator if the password is locked. Trigger indicates how the use case gets activated. For example, this use case gets activated when the user clicks on login button. The activity description provides steps of the processing. For example, here user visits the URL for the login page. After that the user inputs profile and password and clicks on the submit button. Then the system validates the inputs and accepts or rejects the login. There can be branching actions or exceptions in a process. For example, if inputs are incomplete, the system may provide the alert message indicating the user has not provided the user name or password. Use cases can have relationship with other use cases. Use cases also can have priority which indicates how critical the use case from the business perspective is. One can also mention specific performance requirements and assumptions for the use case.